how's the dynamic between the other new faces on the team? Yes. And our crew in the middle. Because it's got to be like there's, there's, you're part of the other. Yes. But you're not part of our crew. But you're not really a part of that group either. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's everything is very unsure at the moment. So we, so I was just saying, actually, Nick, Nick's has gone from a place of power and actually having a bit of status in prison to breaking out and knowing she needs these people to help her break out to finding myself, uh, finding herself on a ship where her privileges have been, been taken away. Like she's not allowed her weapons, she's not allowed to go to access parts of the ship, and it's like, oh, but she almost knows she needs to win these people over if she wants to stay. So it's like taking a step back and feeling a bit vulnerable in a way because she's got all her protection and her things have been taken from her. It's almost like another prison. But <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how she goes with it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. And she knows that they're only going to let her stay if she, you know, can trip, shows them that she can do things that are different from them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that interesting about Nix is she does own a certain set of skills that are different, completely different to the rest of the crew. So she can contribute in that way. But you'll find you haven't seen that yet. So you will see more. All will be revealed in um, Nix's backstory episode, which is two oh six, and we delve into her world and where she's from and why she is the way she is, and why she's been on her own for so long. Yes. <laughs> when Melissa was sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, when Melissa was at the table, we had a bit of a discussion about whether the relationship between two and Nick should be a really cool uh, friendship or yeah. something romantic. Do you have a preference as to what type of relationship you'd like to play out? Do I have a preference? Characters? Ooh, well, it's kind of up to the writers where they take it. But um, what's what's been great about playing the, the storyline so far and, and even going forward was how they found a respect for each other. You know, Nick hasn't had anyone challenge her in that way and she's never fought with anyone so strong like her. You know, she was taking down guys in the prison. She was running the shop. So then for this, you know, beautiful, another beautiful woman to come along and challenge her in that way, I'm, Nick's is quite intrigued by it, and I, as is too. So um, that's interesting. And instead of going down the typical or I would say obvious route of carrying on and fighting each other they are strong women and, and a truly strong woman would respect another strong woman in that way so that's very interesting to play written like this was your plan years ago and you kind of had the story written out oh, uh, Joe uh, Joe had a plan when he did the comic book right but uh, we made him deviate a fair bit <laughs> you know but when you introduce new characters was that something you knew? no no what happened is when we decided that one had to go oh one had to go that was in the generic sense a character had to go I keep, I've done that a few times. Oh my god! Okay, when we decided a character had to go, right? We had to introduce something that was a new concept because we've been finding that, uh, honest truth, six people are hard to keep going in a show all the time. It was a bit tough to keep all those characters, so there was a practical decision to do it. But what we found is that the group had been recognized as before they lost their memories, a very strong group, very dedicated, very strong all together. And then when they lost their memories, they were trying to find out everything and they didn't realize how good they were together. Mm -hmm. So they learned in season one how good they are together. So now we had to come up with a new character and what was the character's role? To, to see whether or not that group would allow somebody new in. So that's Nix's role. It's to test the group and say, will you let somebody else in? You know, or are you already so close and so bonded and have all your relationships? But at the same time, Six, as you know, has betrayed everybody. So the question is, do we forgive him? So all these questions about what makes everybody fit together are being tested in season two. You know? Alex. Right. They're not there to test 
the the loyalties like like Nix's character is. They're there to provide a, a purpose. They're there to fill a role. Uh, we need a doctor to fix things, you know. We need a tough guy to, you know, conflict with everybody. Different, different roles totally. Nix's character was always planned long term as somebody to try and get in good with the group. And she does test every character. Mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. been fun. <laughs> now going back to one, is there a reason why one in particular you chose one in particular? Or is just kind of how the text I I, I, I get, I know it's terrible. I get, this is my, I have to wear this one. I have to wear this because his character had a four or five season arc to it. Right? But I, I wanted to kill somebody. <laughs> right? I, I just want to do it. In fact, Sci-Fi Channel told me that when we, the, within a minute after that tag, we were trended number one, <laughs> like because of that tag. And when I told them we were doing it, they were, oh my God, we love this. They went bananas. <laughs> they thought it was the smartest thing we could ever do in the first episode. They were in shock because even when we decided to kill a character, the original structure was eight, episode eight. We were going to keep them along, make sure you got more involved with them. But I guess, how do I say this? I realized that everyone, he was the sweetest guy, you know, and he was the nicest guy, you know. So I sort of said, guys, you know, that's the one I want to kill. It was so against the normal, too. No, no, no. Oh, quite honestly, Joe and Paul looked at me like, are you, Joe and Paul looked at me like, are you out of your mind? He's the nicest guy. And I said, that's what. Those are, you know, it's really interesting because I don't want Mark to hate me for the rest no. of the time. <laughs> but it wasn't him. It had nothing to do with him. Yeah. It had to do with his character was most dramatic to lose. You know, if Six had died and, you know, you would have said, oh, I trade her anyways. You know, a lot of people, in fact, uh, Roger said, people were sending nasty notes to him on the for really? betraying the group. Yeah. Wow. The best part about that, though, is Oh yeah. No, and I actually went to set. I went to set to make sure there was a, a wild wall so I c- we could shoot it that way because I wanted them facing each other in the shot. Mm. Right? No. Yeah. The worst of him was the best. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Now you tell me what would I have done with that character anyways? I mean, would you? You're a billionaire. You know, what are you going to come back to the ship for? Where do you think it could have gone? Chase is an see. interesting character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Chase. Yeah. Chase. Yeah. Chase. Well, Good there's a reason that he was the one that killed one. That allows us to play a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you tell me, would this crew stand up for each other? I think at this point, yeah. Okay, good guess. Yeah. yeah, that's why I say this has evolved. I keep telling everyone this. It's funny how people, even though we plan this whole thing out, when you see the chemistry between the different actors and the characters and what happens, you know, we change. And we capitalize on that. And when I, I did not realize how cute one was. I have to be honest. When we were casting him, I sat in a room and I said, okay, he's really cute. And I did like this. There were three or four people. I said, we got to have somebody who's cute. Everybody else is like, tough, blah, blah. You need a cute guy. And I was, everybody's laughing at me in the casting. Because I said, he's cute. He's cute. He's cute. we got a cute, cute guy. Yeah. And then that's why I had to get rid of him, too. Because he was just cute. I mean, it's a... It's, oh, he was really cute. I mean, he was just sweet and nice. And, and he was, like, fragile. And he was, like, sensitive. And he was, you know... Moral compass. Yeah. Well, but Devin, Devin, you're going to see, is a sensitive character. Yes. For He's different got reasons. Very interesting backstory as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sean. She's trying to. Sorry, yeah. I'm really going to wrap up. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I thought we were. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. While we're going, what was the question? Quick. Mm. Oh, a- I love all the stunt and fighting stuff. Oh, yeah, we yeah. spar a lot and we've done a lot of stunt work and both staff training and gun training, which is fantastic. Yes. 